hallowed be your name on earth as in heaven. Kia tapu tu ingoa, ki runga ki te whenua, ki a rite anō ki tō te rangi. Always be joyful, pray continually, give thanks, thanks whatever, whatever happens. happens. Good morning and welcome to morning prayer on Monday. We hope you've had a fantastic weekend. Solomon is going to bring our gospel reflection for us. Hear Jesus' words. When you do a kindness, hide from your left hand what your right is doing. Your good deed must be secret. When you pray, pray privately alone. When you fast, don't make a show of it. Don't do it to be seen, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. Would any of you who are parents give your child a wetter when asked for a fish? Bad as you are, you ought to give your children. How much more will the Heavenly Father give to those who ask? Believe, Believe what, what Jesus, Jesus says. God, God is generous. God, God is good. And so I invite you to take a moment to reflect on some act of God's great generosity that you have received this weekend. Etefano, let us love one another because love is from God. We love because God loved us first. And everyone who loves is a child of God and knows God. If we do not love the people we have seen, it cannot be that we love God whom we have not seen. God is love. Those who dwell in love are dwelling in God and God in them. Our reading for today continues in Acts chapter 13, beginning at verse 13. Then Paul and his companions set sail from Paphos and came to Perga in Pamphylia. John, however, left them and returned to Jerusalem. But they went on from Perga and came to Antioch in Pisidia. And on the Sabbath day, they went into the synagogue and sat down. After the reading of the law and the prophets, the officials of the synagogue sent them a message saying, Brothers, if you had any word of exhortation for the people, give it. So Paul stood up and with a gesture began to speak. You Israelites and others who fear God, listen. The God of this people, Israel, chose our ancestors and made the people great during their stay in the land of Egypt, and with uplifted arm he led them out of it. For about forty years he put up with them in the wilderness. After he had destroyed seven nations in the land of Canaan, he gave them their land as an inheritance. For about four hundred and fifty years. After that he gave them judges until the time of the prophet Samuel, then they asked for a king, and God gave them Saul, son of Kish, a man of the tribe of Benjamin, who reigned for forty years. When he had removed him, he made David their king. In his testimony about him, he said, I have found David, son of Jesse, to be a man after my heart, who will carry out all my wishes. Of this man's posterity, God has brought to Israel a saviour, Jesus, as he promised. Before his coming, John had already proclaimed a baptism of repentance to all the people of Israel. And as John was finishing his work, he said, What do you suppose that I am? I am not he. No, but one is coming after me. I am not worthy to untie the thong of the sandals on his feet. My brothers, <coughs> you descendants of Abraham's family and others who fear God, to us, the message of this salvation has been sent. Because the residents of Jerusalem and their leaders did not recognise him or understand the words of the prophets that are read every Sabbath, they fulfilled those words by condemning him. Even though they found no cause for a sentence of death, they asked Pilate to have him killed. When they had carried out everything that was written about him, they took him down from the tree and laid him in a tomb. But God raised him from the dead, and for many days he appeared to those who came up with him from Galilee to Jerusalem, 
and they are now his witnesses to the people. And we bring you the good news that what God promised to our ancestors, he has fulfilled for us, their children, by raising Jesus, as also it is written in the second psalm, You are my son, today I have begotten you. As to raising him from the dead, no more to return to corruption, he has spoken in this way. I will give you the holy promises made to David. Therefore, he has also said in another psalm, you will not let your holy one experience corruption. For David, after he had served the purpose of God in his own generation, died, was laid beside his ancestors, and experienced corruption. But he whom God raised up experienced no corruption. Let it be known to you, therefore, my brothers, that through this man forgiveness of sins is proclaimed to you. By this Jesus, everyone who believes is set free from all those sins from which you could not be freed by the law of Moses. Beware, therefore, that what you, that what the prophet said does, does not happen to you. Look, you scoffers, be amazed and perish, for in your days I am doing a work, a work that you will never believe, even if someone tells you. As Paul and Barnabas were going out, the people urged them to speak about these things again the next Sabbath. When the meeting of the synagogue broke up, many Jews and devout converts to Judaism followed Paul and Barnabas, who spoke to them and urged them to continue in the grace of God. So may you know God's extra provision of abundant grace for you this day. We come now to a time of prayer. I'm going to pray victims and perpetrators, a prayer from Walter Brueggemann's book, Prayers for a Privileged People. Mighty God, giver of peace, slogan for war. We watch while cities burn and children cry and women weep. We listen while tanks roll and missiles zizzle and mobs assemble. We smell while flesh burns and old tyres smoke and oil wells flame out of control. We dare say, we dare imagine, we dare confess that yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory. We come to you as victims of terror and mass death. We come as perpetrators of death and massacre. We come as citizens and patriots and taxpayers and parents and children. We come bewildered, angry, sorry. You, you beyond the smell and the din and the smoke. You beyond our hopes and our hates. You are beginning before time, our end beyond time. Be present in ways we cannot imagine. Be present, save us from our power. Save us from our violence. Save us from our fear and hatred. Save us as only you can do. Save us as you have before saved us, in love and power, in compassion and justice, in miracle and in waiting. Save us because we are your people and because this is your world. Amen. Our Father, hallowed be your name on earth as in heaven. Eto mata matua, ki a tapu to ingoa, ki runga ki te whenua, ki a rite anu i tōtua rangi. Holy One, holy and eternal, awesome, exciting and delightful in your holiness, make us pure in heart to see you, make us merciful to receive your kindness and to share our love with all your human family. Then will your name be hallowed on earth as in heaven. 
Lord God, when you give to us your servants any great matter to do, grant us also to know that it is not the beginning, but the continuing of it, until it is thoroughly finished, which yields the glory. God of work and rest and and pleasure, pleasure, grant grant that that what we do do this week may may be for for us an offering rather than a burden, burden, and for those we serve may it be the help they need. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us for morning prayer today. We pray God's blessings on you for your day ahead.